Hello friends, I'm going to do one merit question that was asked in NC exams uh, of 2005. The topic was sketch and interpret graph. The new standard is called relationship between tables, equations and graphs. So this uh, example can also be uh, corresponds, this example corresponds to that new standard of NCEA. Okay, so let's read the question. Uh, Mary buys a small tent for her little sister for Christmas. So this is a tent. The top part is modeled by a parabola. So this is a parabola. The top part is modeled by parabola. There are three zips, B, E, E, uh, D, E, and E, F. Okay. So this is something I need to delete first. I'll delete this. Okay. So let me delete. So this is a graph of this parabola. Okay. <clears throat> so these are the zips. B E. This is your zip B E. That's vertical. And I got it D E and E F. So this is on the flow. So these are the. So this is. Uh, this is a zip which is B E. Then you got a zip here and you got a zip here. Okay. Okay. The equation of the frame of the top part is this equation y is equal to minus x squared over 20 plus uh, 80 where y is the height in centimeters and x is the distance from the center line in centimeters so yeah let us so they have given the the graph this is the equation and this equation is of this parabola okay now whenever you have an equation of a parabola this minus is because the parabola is upside down of the basic parabola. So basically here there are three transformations of the basic parabola. When I say basic parabola, I'm talking about y is equal to x squared. So y is equal to x squared has got three, has has had three transformation. One is it is flipped over. So what, first transformation you can say it is minus x squared. That's the first transformation. It's flipped over. Then it has, it's divided by 20. That means it has, it has got a stretch factor. So it is stretched from both ends. So that's why you divide by 20. Okay. This is this 20 tells you the stretch factor that it has become wider. That is these two ends. Imagine the D and E are pulled apart. And this plus 80 means then it has gone 80 up. So this is this 12, 20 tells me this parabola. This parabola was pulled on both ends, okay. And this minus tells me the parabola has gone upside down. So this is the graph of this equation would be y is equal to like this. So this is only a rough sketch. So this parabola first became upside down, then it was stretched, and then it went up. So there are three transformations. Okay. So at this point, by only looking at the equation, I can say this, the vertex of this equation. So let me delete this now. Okay. So this, the vertex of this basic parabola is 0, 0. So vertex has basically gone 80 up. Okay. Or you can also see when this is 0 on your x-axis, if you put 0 here, this whole thing will become 0, and your this is your y-intercept. So this is 80. I can just looking at this, I can say this has to be 80. So this is your y-intercept. So let us say how, how did I get 80? That's your y-intercept, where the graph cuts the y-axis. So y-intercept, you get the y-intercept when your x value is zero okay so let us work it out so this will be useful later on so we can say zero is equal to no sorry your x is zero so you can say y is minus zero squared is zero or you can say minus zero squared over 20 plus 80 and this becomes this whole thing becomes zero so y is equal to 80. That's why I wrote y is equal to 80 there. So let's read the first question. What is the height 
of the top of the tent. So they are asking you what is this height? This what's the total height? So the height of the top of the tent is 80 centimeters. So you can write 80 like that. Okay, next question. What's the length of the horizontal zip EF? So they're asking what is this? So if you can if this is zero, whatever this number, that would be the distance. So they're asking you what are the x-intercept. Okay, so indirectly they are telling you, can you find me the x-intercept? So you can say, well, x-intercept is when? What is 0? y is 0, that's right. See, y-intercept, you get the y-intercept, this is your y-intercept, when x is equal to 0, okay? Your x value is 0, and for your x-intercept, your y becomes 0. So this point is called 0, 0. Well, that's the origin. So this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. At this point, well, on the x-axis, all your y values is 0. And on your y-intercept, the x value is 0 or the x coordinate is 0. Okay. So I can say I got the equation y is equal to minus x squared over 20 plus 80. So I'm saying my y value is 0. So I can set y is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to minus x squared over 20 plus 80. So taking away 80 from both sides, I can write minus 80 is equal to minus x squared over 20. Now multiplying both sides by 20, I can get minus 1600 is equal to minus x squared. Therefore, I can say x squared is equal to 1600. So x is equal to, I'll write it here, is square root of this, which is plus or minus 40. Okay, so what does that mean on the graph? So this point is minus 40 away from 0, and this point is 40 away from 0. So this point, you can say is 40 comma 0, and this point is nothing but minus 40 comma 0. And here, the, this point, if you want to write it as a coordinate, that is 0 comma 80. This is what I'm saying. This, at this point, your x-coordinate is 0, and at these two points, your y-coordinate is 0. Okay, so what's the distance? They're asking you, what is this distance? This is 0, and this is 40. So EF is how many centimeters? 40 centimeters. That's it. Okay, now the last question. The length of AC is 32. So they're saying this is 32, AC is 32. So this has to be 16 and this has to be 16. You can say this is minus 16 and this is plus 16. Minus only tells me because you know that this is, you know, this y-axis is the axis of symmetry. This is the axis of symmetry. That means uh, about this y-axis, these two are uh, or you can say these these two two these two parts are uh, the two parts. If this is the mirror line, so if you treat this, if you see this as a mirror line, axis of symmetry can be seen as a mirror line. So these are the two parts; they are reflection of each other over this mirror line. So I can say this point. So I'll use an arrow from here. I can say this is. And if I drop this down, I can I say, let me change colors. Can I say this is negative 16 and this is positive 16? So basically what they're asking you is what is y? This is what they're asking. So this point, so basically you can also say they're asking you what's the coordinate of c. So we know the x coordinate of c is 16. So can we find the y coordinate? So the same equation, point C is a point on this parabola. So let me find the y-coordinate of C. And we know that the x-coordinate of C is 16. So I'll just put 16 into the equation. So again, I'll write the equation y is equal to minus x squared over 20 plus 80. So we know x is 16. We want to find what is y. 
y is equal to minus 16 squared over 20 plus 80. So I'll use my calculator. You're allowed to use a calculator. So you, most of you should be having a graph, uh, graphic calculator or even if an electronic calculator would do. So you can go minus 16 squared divided by 20 plus 80. That is 67.2. So this y value is 67.2 centimeters. So you can see that the coordinate of C is 67.2. So this height is 67.2. So the height, so that's the question, that's the answer, the length of BE. Okay, where is BE? Yeah, that's what the length of BE is, Y, that is 67.2. Okay, now these are the answers that I have copied and pasted from the marking schedule. So the first answer is 80. Can we check our answer? The first answer is 80. So you can, you'll get a merit for that. The next answer was 40, so that's also right. And the third answer is 67.2. Third answer is 67.2. See you in the next video. I'll do an excellence question based on this question in the next video.